has good technique, he will be elite. If his technique becomes great, not just good, then he's a Hall of Famer. Fighting through contact, fighting through off the line, being a double team, multiple moves stacked into one. Just a play of pure domination. This is actual film, this is actual football talk. It's a football show, we're supposed to football, not storylines. And you are listening to another edition, a surprise edition of Blue It Splits. Um, how many of you are surprised? Probably people who follow all of my, all of my social media and follow all the shows uh, did not tell anybody. I was doing a Justin Hardy review, but I figured um, with his contract, with the leadership he's going to provide to the team, why does he not deserve a review because he's a special teams? Um, you know, signing a three-year $6.7 million deal to the Jets – He's taking up $2.2 million, which is a decent amount for a special teams player. So let's see why. Uh, we're also going to watch one game of him week 17 of 2019 at him at cornerback, which is why he shouldn't play. I put I really play cornerback and unless he's in a really tight pinch, um, which so I put it at the end because I didn't want to start with that. But I watched weeks uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 7, 8, 14, 15, 16, 17, uh, wild card and divisional game of Hardy. Plus 2019 week 17, the only rep where he got or only game where he got reps at cornerback. They were blowing out the Panthers, so he put, they put him in. Um, unless there's an injury too, but they were blowing out the Panthers. Um, I appreciate you guys. By the time you're watching this, I have this is the last one I'm doing. Yeah, this is the last one I'm doing. Um, by the time you're watching, at least, um, which means I have done 30 reviews. That's a lot. It is with all the reviews being some of them, you know, just 45 minutes. Some of them being two hours, two and a half hours, uh, two, two and a half hours is only two, two and a half hours in the show to do it, to watch the film, to look at every play, to break it down, to write strengths and weaknesses. It, it takes a lot. Now, could there have been more production value sometimes with all oh, making fancy music and cutting out dead time? Sure. But then there's no way in hell you're getting 30 reviews. So that's kind of what you get, you know? I'd rather put out 30 reviews and you guys know who the players are on your team, on our team, than put out 10 reviews because I want to put fancy graphics in it and fancy music and all this stuff, or even organizing it. Like plenty of people write scripts, you know, for their plays on this play. I'm going to say, okay, well he goes to this and this is this play. This is this outside zone. I don't do that because I want to just keep putting out stuff for you guys. So I'm um, getting off my soapbox. I appreciate everybody. But again, a lot of the reviews I said, you know, uh, oh, well, are they going to sign Moses? Are they going to sign Moses? Are they going to sign Moses? I knew they were just in, like, could, because I knew I was going to have a, a full July off. Um, and it's not really off anyway because I'm doing a podcast. But with this being the 30th review I'm doing, 31 is like is my number for a lot of reasons, uh, which I'm not going to get into now. But 31 is my number. The chance they sign another guy now who's going to be a contributor that I'm going to have to do another review on is high. I'm going to almost bank on it. So by the time you're listening to this, again, probably early August. Um, late July, I they probably signed a corner who I did a review on too. I, I'll, I'll bank on that. So I'll probably end up doing 31 reviews because that's very, very, very fitting. Um, getting into his film, 23 plays. Cool. A lot of him on special teams. Um, and you'll see, obviously. It's, you know, I think this is the first time I've ever done a special teams review of a guy. Um, some of it's corner... Some of it's punt return. Some of it's it's him as a gunner on punt. Some of it's him as a uh, on kickoff. Some of it's you know it's it's all over the place. Twenty three plays will do it relatively quick. It's not there's not a ton to break down with special teams. Um, and the, let's be frank, like I don't I got to study offensive systems and coverages before I start getting into exactly what guys are supposed to do on a technical level <laughs> on special teams. But him as a gunner, you know you know what he pretty much got to do. So he's right here on the top. Um, the one thing I like about this, again, all of it to me, pretty simple, gets to the outside. The guy obviously matches him. He has to work right back in bounds as he gets pushed, uh, pushed into bounds. This receiver or the, the punt returner is fair catching, but what he can do is if this guy's going to be in front of him, he could, he could throw this guy into, into the punt returner. And if he hits the ball first, it's live. So good job getting into the block and realizing it's a fair catch. And you're going to see him try to push him into that point. Try to shove him into it. 
Um, he obviously angles to get away from the the uh, the, the punt returner, um, but good job almost doing it. You can see him. You know, he thinks he almost had it. So, good play. Big hit. Okay. Uh, bottom of the screen. Right. I think. Yeah. I think. I believe he's bottom. Yeah. Bottom. Okay. So, get off the line. Angle inside. I'm assuming the punt's going left, so he has the flexibility to go inside like that. Run past the hands. Defeat him. You see that little. You see a little arm over. Clear himself. Receiver doesn't fair catch, or the punter doesn't fair catch. Absolutely lights him up. Obviously, that's uh, you like to see that. Not a wise decision when a guy's coming down like that on you to uh, to try to return that ball. So, little arm over, good action, speed, acceleration, massive shot. And he's a fiery freaking player. Like he loves football. He loves it more than anybody on the team, in my opinion. Uh, I, there's guys who really love it. I'm talking like energy on the field, like psychopath. This guy, I love him. Um, he's right here inside. Uh, typically, if they had two guys on the outside trying to mug the gunner. Um, he was there if he was, and if not, he would flex inside. Sometimes he would rush. Sometimes he just look for the first guy to break the line of scrimmage and, and block him. Um, but if there's two guys on the outside, he was typically one of them, but like one-on-one -on, -one on the gunners, he didn't do that as much, at least what I noticed. So you're going to see him mug him right here. And he talks a ton of smack. <laughs> love it so again guys outside he's playing the inside obviously so he's he's going to shuffle inside uh play it hard hands on other blocker comes over now he's upfield on him he's gonna continue to run to get in front of him you see you should see him cut him off right here hands on he tries to angle inside flips his hips with hands on using his hands like that pivot point Locks him up, throws a little shoulder after. You're going to see him. Uh, he's got owned, looks in his eyes, and he's going to give him a little flex. You love it. I love, I love the fire he plays with. That's for, that's for sure. Play four. Um, blocks, smack talk above opponent's 50. So he's right here. Yeah, you didn't think I was going to do the special teams review. You didn't know it. You should have expected it. But how big of a surprise is it for the, you know, hopefully if I get a thousand reviews or a thousand reviews, a thousand viewers on a special teams guy, cool with it. It was worth it. I know. Cause you know why there's going to be plenty of people who aren't interested in it, but there's going to be plenty of people who are happy to see, okay, cool. I want to see this guy and what he's, what he's made of. So, um, I'm really, I was excited to kind of do this, you know? Yes. I'm excited about dropping a special teams review. You know, does that make me a little bit of a nerd? Sure. Whatever. It's your benefit, especially if you're subscribing. Right here. Keep watching them. Love it. Love it. Man. Again, obviously, it's going to run backwards. I, you know, I don't know if it's because of how he identifies the threat. He's going to pass this guy off and then, and then block this guy regardless. Or Sorry. Pass it, this guy, whatever. This is his first throw. He takes it. I'm not, I'm not hundred percent sure, but takes the first guy running at him square drops the hips hands on gets driven backwards a little bit. Obviously this guy's running full speed and, and he's running kind of backwards and just planted. Another guy works on the block with him, continues to run his feet, continues to run his feet, hands on grip strength, continues to run his feet, <laughs> you know, stands him up and you're always going to see him, uh, you know, fired up after he makes a good play. Loves it. Good stuff. Hardy tackle kickoff. Um, he's right here. Yeah, that's him. Good. Good job.
sees the runner, sees the blocker, hands on, get inside of him, physicality to push that block, get the tackle. Nothing crazy, but good play. Hardy tackle punt. Okay. Um, he's right here. And he's a guy who, you know, I, I know Boyer talked about, like, you don't want him getting double teamed all the time. But if there's one guy to get double teamed to make a play, it's it's Hardy. And angles outside. It's fine. Typically, he does versus double teams. But um, outside Armand, trying to, trying to work past that hand to get over the top. Runs out of bounds, has to run back inbounds. The inside uh, guy, whatever it is, whatever you want to call him, Tries to square him up. Hands on, tight elbows, extension. Trucks him over. Keeps working up the sideline. And eventually finds his way to make the uh, the tackle on Cordell Patterson. But uh, you like to see him truck with guys on the sideline. Wow. Love it. And he only played in, what, I think it was 10 games last year. He went on like, the injury reserve. I think in his end of this... End of the Bears game. Sometimes in the Bears game, I think this he gets injured and he misses a couple of weeks. Um, Hardy punt return blocking. I think he's right here. Yeah, he's right here. Typically, he's yeah again the inside guy when they're when they're doubling a guy. Again, like that's your gunner who's supposed to get down the field for the Bears. Cuts him off. Hands inside. Runs with them. Runs with them. Hands inside again. Run with them. Run with them. <laughs> Still trying to get downfield? Nope. Try to let another shot on him. Completely shuts down that gunner. Oh, shit. Okay. Sorry for the... I, I apologize. Um, runner breaks it. The punt returner breaks it. He can hinge up the sideline. That same guy, like, I'm freaking done with Hardy. Outruns him. Pushes him. Another guy. Like, what a play. You know, this is never going to get highlighted. You're, there's not... I, ga- I, can, I guarantee you there's not another YouTube... <laughs> show that's doing film breakdowns on him but fantastic this this the pop noticing okay this guy's breaking to my side get vertical one block two block the guy works his ass off that's why he's getting paid two million dollars special teams it's important imagine making two million dollars a year you know, six million dollars that he's going to make in, in three years from the Jets because he plays his balls off on special teams is more than a lot of us will ever make in our lives. <laughs> you know, deserves it. Um, below kicker, so he's right here. Nothing crazy. It's open for him. You know, the, the, the C splits for him and he just takes it, accelerates through it, tracks him down, wrap him up, tackle. Easy to break down. You see a little bit of the uh, how excited he is at the, at the end of the play, which you always, you always love to see it. Hardy. Oh, yeah, this is a good play. Um, bottom right here, you can see it by the big-ass arrow. So the onside kick at the end of the game. And I don't know if this is – I'm assuming it's by design where these outside guys – um, are obviously the ball has to roll, um, you know, 10 yards. So it has to get to the 45. It doesn't go deep enough until really late. And I'm not sure if it's by design or, you know, or, or Hardy is just smart enough to do it where he's going to get outside leverage on this guy and try to push him back into the ball because that's the only way they can recover it, make it live for the, for the kick team is if one of the Eagles obviously hits it and doesn't recover. Um, they're screwed right now, but this is a, this is a really freaking smart play by Hardy outside leverage sees the ball rolling. What does he do? Tries to work that blocker into the ball. Does it happen? Yes. The ball hits the, you can see it right there. It, you're going to, if you, it's hard, it's obviously hard to see, but it hits the receivers or the, the blockers foot and the Saints can't recover, but it, fantastic play by Hardy. Fantastic. Like that's, that's awesome. Awesome awareness and smarts to do that right there. Ugh. 
You didn't make a play, a play or two on special teams. And it's not going to make last year where we make plays on special teams. You're like, damn it, I wanted to lose. Why are you doing this, Braden, man? <laughs> um, inside top, yeah. That's typically where he where he plays if he's doing this uh, right here. <laughs> he just he matches for such a long time. You're like, you, you love it. Um, again, he tries to get inside of him right here. Stay square. Like, look at this. Hands inside and just drives his feet and just works them. Now, he eventually gets past them, but he slows them up a lot, you know? Like, he shuts them down. Eleven. Um, yeah, so, the, the again, he's, he's a good special teams player. He does sometimes not break down enough. And, and guys will juke them. Again, it's not an easy position. You're running full speed to get down the field. You're gassed. There's a ton of open field. So it's not, it's not the easiest position. Like you're in a, tight, you know, in a tight gap or something like that. But there are times where he'll, he'll – and two times in the second quarter in this game against the Chiefs, he did miss tackles. And, and you're going you're gonna to see him, um, again, at times not really break down and take the best angle right here misses the, the tackle and then you know obviously this guy runs backwards regardless but um you miss tackle don't want you don't necessarily want to see it ball bounces right into the receiver's hand so it's not the again not an easy position to to, to be in because he's tracking the ball doesn't ex expect it to bounce right to the re to the punt returner um but goes into his hands he misses the tackle i'm you know not gonna show everything positive um and again here this is later in the game or later in the corner again want to see him make this tackle doesn't you know it's not necessarily about breaking down it's just about crossing um your outside leverage cross his hips you know wrap him up and uh not the cleanest or the best uh form tackle not anything drastically bad or left anything big but you still want to see him make it uh top of the screen Just effort, speed. He's a guy typically goes outside. Outside. He's going to run down the sideline, work to get back in bounds. Outruns his guy. Looks like he probably got a hand on here. Pulls his arm up to avoid it. Now, talk about the leverage. He's not going to be able to bend this right here with this guy running full speed. So he's going he's gonna, to um, cut behind him. Cut behind him, little push by, find the tackle. Good job. Excuse my French. On this one. Already talk shit. Um, bottom. And tends to go outside, which you want to pinch down on it. You don't necessarily want to go inside and give him the sideline. So love it. Gotta love it. Again, beats his guy, just outruns him, takes a good angle, you know, works past the block right there. Fair catches it, but you want to breathe. You literally want to be breathing. Pretty, you want to be eye to eye, nose to nose. So it distracts him and they drop the ball. And you can see him stay with the receiver as tight as he possibly can and just guarantee you he's talking mad shit right here. And then after, stares him down, still talking smack. You're going to see him. Love it. I love it. <laughs> Always going to talk smack. 10 plays. Kick return block. Right here. Above the 50. What am I doing? Oh, you can see me. This is live. That's me doing that live. It's like resetting. Like, oh, I'm going to put the arrow there because it's harder to get it. But that's timing. That's just knowing that this arrow typically, once you set it, takes about three seconds to disappear. So you want to try to time it as best you can. That's me doing that live. Watch it again. Appreciation for me. Good job. Good job, Joy Boy. Good timing, you know, but 
I didn't edit it. So <laughs> um, now gets down the, or, you know, backwards, finds a threat, hands on, and you're going to see him again, get that left hand inside, left hand inside. And then he, and then he works under that hand. You're going to see not great leverage right here, but it works his hips in front of him, gets underneath the block. Run with him down the field. I'm sure he talked plenty of crap right here too. I didn't record past it, but um, good kick return block. Punt return tackle. All righty. Top. I don't know. It's, yeah, top. It's a little hard to tell in our white jersey sometimes. Again, takes the outside, wants to pinch down it, and he's it. He always takes the outside. Runs back in bounds. Now he runs back in bounds. Two guys going to block him. Hands on, pushes him up the field. Another guy get inside of him. Use his hands, track him. And I like this too, where a uh, little bit risky at times, but obviously he's working into traffic and he's going to, uh, you're going to see him come down with that club with the right arm. Just a club down the ball, force a fumble. He's behind the guy. He takes a shot, but good job beating the double. Look at this guy versus where Hardy is, you know, not easy thing to do. Six team beat double punt return. So you're here again, doubled outside. Ooh, a little fake inside. I don't know if it's because, you know, if he sees that guy going outside hard, he's just going to take the inside from him. Again, you could do that in punt returns too. If you study a guy and he's going outside hard on guys, or, you know, if you're just a guy who tends to go outside and you're, you're going to expect him to jump you outside, then take the inside, takes the inside. Again, takes his angle right to the returner, hands on, get right in his face. And of course, he's going to look at who, who he just beat. That's just, that's just him. He definitely has like a little black book of guys that he destroyed. So he has it. You go, oh, remember, you know, week seven, 2016, when I, when you couldn't jam me, like whatever it is, um, smack talk right here, bottom. Yeah, just outrun this guy. That's just that's just speed. And the guy's leverage. So outruns him. See some good speed from again, get in his face, right in his grill. And you see him kind of like that swag. Of course, he's gonna talk. <laughs> see, he's always talking. You always see guys on it after, staring guys down, always. He's not a guy you want to screw with. That's, I guarantee it. Now we go to some coverage reps from 17 and we got five or six. I'm not going to go over them crazily. Even some of the, I didn't go through all the weaknesses and stuff. He's not going to be doing this for the Jets. He's, you know, unless he's in a pinch. Um, we'll do it really quick. You know, I'm not going to go into as much as I, as I typically do. Here, bottom, what happens? Opens immediately. He's closing ground. He's angling to the outside. Stay over the top, get hands on, um, and at least angle off to angle off to the sideline, squeeze into the sideline. He just opens up, let him, let him, lets him take it again. And this guy breaks out on the on the uh, on the seven. And Hardy's not in the worst position right here. The problem is there's some separation at the top right here. And instead of looking back to the ball, because he does have outside leverage on you, he's probably going to get the ball to the outside. And you want to play through the hands elbows, et cetera, et cetera. We've talked about it all before. Again, if you're watching a Hardy review, you've watched my corner reviews. So, you know, um, and he flattens out because he's looking back for the ball and try to track it. And the one thing is it looks like his eyes go low. You want to go high to low. It's a little bit harder to tell the helmet, to be honest, but that's the one thing you do want to do if he did or not, regardless, it's just, you know, a little factor to the side. Um, and he gets beat terrible position to be in. No, not really. You know, and some of these plays, he wasn't terribly beat, but still beat. Five plays left. Um, beat on corner. Um, uh, oh, he's right here. Okay, inside slot. Sorry, like almost like blended in kind of. So, right there. Again, just we're in, you know opening up too early. You see his heel click. You know um, it opens up really early. If you if he's gonna stem you inside like that. Stay over the top, get a shuffle in, stay patient, gets beat to the outside. 
Do a little slingshot to get back outside on them though. Get your hands on. You can see some of the length right there. Bam step. Stays with them. You know, not tight to him, but he stays with him for the most part. Um, but he gets beat. Could have been a reception. The ball is uh, thrown out of bounds, but it's because of this that he's beat outside. That not the worst recovery. Doesn't fall too hard for the bam step. You know, if he catches the ball, he's going to tackle him, but uh, not ideal. Okay. Four plays. Beat vertical. This wasn't to this wasn't to kill him or anything like that. Like we went out of a lot of positives. Love him as a as a as a special teams guy, but this is for the people again, for those small that small bunch of fans. Like, okay, well he's great on this. Why not play him at the special teams? This is so I don't have to or, or play him at corner. This is so you have that information. You know, uh, beat vertical, bottom of the screen. Again, pretty simple. We're not going crazy. Stems at him. Immediately opens, opens fully. Not no, there's no shuffle. There's no staying over the top. There's not really a lot of hands on that are meaningful. Takes it vertical. He runs with them. Again, in the worst spot in the world. No, this is not a bad spot. You know, he he catches back up to him. He tries to arm bar that arm. You know, play over top of it so he can't go up to the ball. So I like that. Tries to track the ball. Receiver makes hell of a play. So yeah, he got beat. To his credit, he didn't get burned. You know, that's not a bad play. The receiver is not going to make that catch every time. There's no way. Three plays. Right here. Uh, again, let's just go through it. Okay, so angles, et cetera. You know, uh, goal line, get aggressive. I, you know, this the, the two yards off on the goal line, not a big fan of it. Um, in general, if you're going to press, press. You know, if you're going to if you're going to play up on them and you're a soft press to not go with your hands first, that's cool. But in this situation, stretch release inside, and his angle goes. You know, again, doesn't get. You know, it's it's hard for him here to get a shuffle in because he's he's inside immediately. Um, but his angle's really far over the top, and he's going to cut back outside and like the really short whip. And uh, Hardy is beat bad. Even here, he's beat. Even after the slip from Samuel, outside catches the ball and falls again. So he just doesn't have his feet under him, you know. And uh, he's beat badly even with the slip. So don't want to see that. Two more plays. Top, okay. Right here. Okay, there we go. So this time. Like kick steps to keep himself relatively square. Doesn't fall for the inside. Doesn't open up immediately. Gets into a little bit of a back pedal. You don't want to see him pop up. He kind of pops up right there a little bit. But overall, still stays relatively square. Hands on. Gets a hand on the shoulder. Cut him off vertically. Not a, not a bad play from him. Okay. Last play. I'm assuming we're not going to end positive. There was a player two I didn't record. Uh, I didn't record that he was beat on slants, things like that. He was playing like 10 yards off and ideally does not let it up. Yes. But are they up by like 30, 35 at this point? And um, maybe they were just playing like a prevent or whatever. And they were trying to be soft coverage that, that could have happened as well. So I'm not going to just do that. But here, when he is pressing on the top of the screen, he's beat on the slant. Again, we know what it is. One, two, three, just a squirt release outside. Again, instead of getting over the top, hands on, crowding the break inside, um, it would have completely shut it down. It's really not in the best release. There's not really much pace into it. But um, he opens fully, like that whole step. It's not even angling off. That's a full open. He's getting get beat underneath every time. Kyle Allen, I believe, right? 2019. Yeah, Kyle Allen. I, believe, I, think, I think it's Kyle Allen. Catch. Now... Good job wrapping with the with the um, outfield arm, the the arm that's uh, inside tries to punch the ball out. I'm cool with that, you know. But obviously, beat. Um, that's it. Strengths and weaknesses. Pretty short list. Um, I said leader, special teams ace, aggressiveness, 
or I'd say aggressive speed acceleration, former wide receiver helps him avoid jams on returns, uh, smart awareness on special teams, active hands to defeat blocks, works to stay on blocks as a blocker, some pop as a blocker in his hands, ultimate smack talker, drives feet as a blocker, length, and I put loves football in capital letters, um, weaknesses, misses some tackles on special teams, comes in too hot in, in, uh, in air quotes, um, or print, yeah, air quotes on some punt returns. Um, and then QB play, I, I just put it as a weakness in itself. It's a jumpy, big steps, open hips, no shuffles, angles, playing ball, eyes back to quarterback, et cetera. Um, appreciate it. Hope, you know, this is going to be the last one you're going to watch unless they sign somebody in August, you know. But, um, again, drop reviews, drop ratings. If you're a YouTube or a Vimeo.